Oxford, Plasma Lab 100 ICP, with the custody coupled plasma source ICP 380, which says it's the higher powered ICP head and generator. 5,000 watt generator. It's an 8 inch system. We have load lock pump. We've got a 2033 vacuum pump wet pump. We have a Edwards IQDT80 backing the turbo for the chamber. Chamber pump. Power box, all your breakers and main power. Model B403 LS chiller, air cooled chiller, supplying water to the bottom of the platen. The rest of the system gets its water from the house water system. Your upper match control is in this part of the upper head. The RF matching. We have done the annual PM, replaced all vacuum O-rings, cleaned and all vacuum seals, replaced the O-rings with new. We've replaced the chamber struts, sight glass windows, O-rings here. All wiring, plumbing, tubing has been either checked or replaced. If it showed anywhere, it has been replaced. System on button, main on. System off button, EMO. The system has inside this enclosure behind the chamber will be the maglev turbo. The Alcatel ATH-1300M Turbo. Alcatel-1300M Turbo Controller. The system has a VAT valve controller and a VAT valve APC, Automatic Pressure Control, controlled by the computer system. AMU Control, this controls the upper and lower automatic match units for the RF matching. This will be your upper match control load and tune, your lower match control load and tune. You can run them in automatic or manual, either one. You can preset the park position so that when it starts to run your process, you can already have the tuning where it needs to be so it doesn't have to search for quicker, faster tuning. New monitor, keyboard, mouse, brand new computer from Oxford with brand new up to date software, brand new gas box with brand new control. MFCs have all been sent out for cleaning, calibration. Gas box has been thoroughly tested. Gas control has been thoroughly tested. All toxic or corrosive gases will have bypass plumbing. Okay, I have vented. This is load lock control here, chamber control here for pumping. This shows your load lock, load lock pump running. Rough valve, vent valve. Shows green showing a wafer in the chamber. This shows that the slip valve between the chamber 
and the load lock is closed. This is the arm position for the load arm, in and out of the chamber. It shows it home, which means it's in the load lock. It shows extended, it's out in to the chamber. Wafer lift is your wafer lift pins. Right now they are down. Wafer clamp, this is, we have added backside helium and wafer clamp to this system. This will tell you if the wafer clamp is down and clamped or if it's up. While transferring wafers, the clamp will come up, the lifting fingers will come up, the arm will come in, pins will go down, leaving the wafer on the arm, and the arm will come out. It's the opposite for the load, and we'll go ahead and um, I'll show you the load lock, and then we'll do a load. Eight-inch wafer, eight-inch load lock. All the controls, all the mechanicals have been completely taken apart, clean, bearings, sensors. This is, uh, tells you lit up or open or close switch right here, micro switch. So now it was vent, I would say stop. I would say evacuate. We'll call this video wafer, video W. Okay, I told it evacuate after I named the wafer, and that is for data logging. So now it's open the rough valve. You can see from the Ferrani gauge, we're pumping down. When, is it, when it is in a safe condition for wafer transfer, you will see green on the upper left of this chamber. There, now you see the green. That means it's safe for wafer transfer between the two units. As you can see, the chamber is already at a high vacuum state, eight to the negative five, tour, for the penning gauge. Process interlocks are all okay. The lid is closed. So now, we can go process, and I'll say recipe, and I've written just one recipe on here just for test, B test, and it's two step recipe. So I'll click the first step of this recipe. I have it set for 31 seconds, and all I'm really doing is turning on these two gases, and I'm only running nitrogen on this system right now. I'm not running chlorine or argon or BCL free. So I've set these two gases for 20 SCCM. And I've asked it to set the pressure for pressure control at 30 millitor. And it's set for pressure. You can set it for positional control and set the APC to any position you want knowing what the pressure will be at certain positions. So I'll say OK. Now step two, this is actually where the gases are the same, pressure is the same, and I've given it some RF settings for the lower and upper generator. Lower generator 200 watts, upper generator 500 watts. And I've asked for 10 tour on my helium backside. So that's what the recipe is going to do. And that recipe runs for three minutes. So now I'll just say run. Take care for run, I'm in automatic mode. So I'll say run. So the first thing it's going to do, it's going to open the load lock slit valve and the wafer's transferring into the chamber. Now the pins are going to come up, the arm is going to come out, so the wafer is now sitting on the wafer pins in the chamber above the chuck. Arm is home, slot valve closes. The pins will go down, the wafer clamp will come down. Now our gas is turned on, as you see by the green valves here and here. And that pressure is being automatically set. Here's your valve position. 
And here's your pressure. I've asked for 30 Millator. It's given me 29.8 for a 9.7, which is very good. Pressure control for the helium backside, 9.9 tour. So this is the first step. So it has nine seconds left, eight seconds. So I gave it a 30 second stabilization. So now we have gas flow, we have pressure control. Now we're going into the next step. Now it automatically gives it a six second timeout waiting for the pressure control again because it shuts everything off, turns everything on whenever it skips step to step. Okay, now our RF just turned on. 596 volts DC bias. I asked for 200 watts. I have 196, which is very good. We'll move in 1%. Two watts reflected. That's the lower. It's the platinum power. ICP power, I asked for 500 watts. We have 490, 500, 495. Zero watts reflected. That's very good, well within spec. Now, if you look through the side glass here, you'll see our plasma. It's kind of hard to see the very top of the wafer. But you can see how stable, how stable everything is. No fluctuations, no jumping around. Our gas flows are nice and stable. That pressure is nice and stable. And when running different recipes, different gases, different pressures, you have to redo your tuning and find, you know, where it wants to play as far as your RF match. Forty-eight seconds left. Now it will finish running this plasma. We'll shut everything off. It will pump the chamber back down to base pressure. And it will automatically unload the wafer. So your plasma has about thirty seconds left. See, the arm is now going into the chamber. And the arm's coming out. Wafer lift pins were up, now they're down. Clamp is up. Arm is coming back into the chamber. Now arm is at home. Now we'll tell you that the wafer Load complete, wait for a load lock. 